let's have the children come on up to the front to help with leading this next part of worship. Come on up and make yourselves comfy up here. Want to join us, Bruce? So, Bruce, this is Sloan, and Bruce, that's Maddox right there, and that's Emlyn, and I'm Brad. And you probably know that Remembrance Day is coming up. You can see some things here in the sanctuary today that are out just because of Remembrance Day. Can you see? Can you see what is out just for Remembrance Day? Notice anything? Ah, yes, we have a couple things over here. This is a list of people in this congregation who served in the wars. And then you can see at the bottom of that frame, you see you've got, oh. Yeah, what are they called? Right, you're right, they are called poppies. And underneath that frame thing, what's that? It looks like a, just a piece of metal. It's a, you know what it is, Sloan, don't you? That's right, a stand for putting a wreath on, and that wreath will be coming forward in a little bit. And that wreath is our, part of our way of remembering people who have uh, suffered during the war by serving. So there are people who served in war and they died and those who served came home but still carrying that heavy weight of pain. And so you see on the screen, we're going to do a few things and this is where I need your help so we can help the adults through this next part. We're going to hear Sloan read a poem I'm sure you've heard before in Flanders Fields. And then we're going to have, Diane is gonna read the list of names. And we're going to then stand for two minutes and be silent. And I know that you've done that before. I, I know that standing and being silent can feel a little bit fidgety, but this is a great place to learn how to do those things that are important to the community. So that's what we'll be doing. And then we'll be singing, O oh Canada. And after that, John the Rock is going to bring the wreath forward. And if you feel some heavy feelings in your heart or your stomach, that's okay. You may notice some tears that are out in the eyes of people who are here and those tears are okay also. And maybe some people after church may want to leave their poppies here, or they may not because they'll take them with them so that they can have them for November the 11th. So that's what we're gonna do. Are you ready to help us with Remembrance Day? Okay, then Sloan, if you wanna head up to the lectern there and we'll listen as you read, the poem. Oh, let's, you want to go to lectern where there's a microphone and then that way they'll hear you at home. In Flanders fields the poppies blow between the crosses row on row that mark our place and in the sky the larks still bravely sing singing fly scars heard amid the guns below we are the dead short days ago we lived felt dawn saw sunset glow Loved and were loved, and now we lie in Flanders Fields. Take up our quarrel with the foe, to you form falling hands. We throw, 
the torch be yours to hold it high. If we break faith with us who die, we shall not sleep though poppies grow in Flanders field. Thank you. Following our people from Strathroy United Church who have volunteered for active service. Andre Arts, Evan Bartholomew, Albert Bates, Douglas Beamer, Arthur Brown, Gordon Brown, Richard Butler, Kenneth Calvert, Lloyd Calvert, Frank Campbell, Agatha Cavers, George Cavers, James Champion, Roy Cleave, Harold Collins, Charles Cooper, Norman Cooper, Douglas Crandon, Harvey Craven, Gordon Cuddy, Mac Cuddy, Fred Davison, Kenneth Dennis, Dorothy Doan, John Doward, Will Doward, George Downham, Gordon Downham, Grant Early, Brian Engel, Helen Ferguson, Alan Font, Harold Font, John Font, Robert Font, Gerald Gateman, Clarence Gibson, Russell Gibson, J.E. Goff, Max Grenis, Kenneth Haldane, John Hare, Arthur Harmon, Henry Harmon, John Head, Leonard Head, Donald Hiles, Edmund Holliday, Earl Humphreys, Cecil Hollingsworth, George Gels, Clifford Jones, Howard Keck, Russell Keck, Ross Kellestein, Herbert Colesmith, Wilbert Colesmith, Borden Cutt, Robert M. Lambert, John LaRock, Ted Levitt, Donald Lightfoot, Gordon MacDonald, Jack T. MacDonald, Cameron McLean, Malcolm McIntyre, Charles Mills, George Morningstar, Hugh Nicholson, Richard Nicholson, Robert Nicholson, Grant Parker, Douglas Parker, Rupert Parker, W.T. Pierce, Leonard Pearson, Winston Pearson, Alan Pedden, Leonard Penpraise, Whitford Patch, Norman Powers, Russell Ratcliffe, Donald Rutherford, Forbes Rutherford, Russell Stacy, John Sullivan, Howard Swales, Leroy Swales, Jack Taylor, Floyd Thomas, Kenneth Thomas, Ronald Thomas, John Townend, Stanley Wells, G.W. Wilmot, Cecil Wright, and Peter Wright. Let's stand. I'm going to stand with you.
think you did a wonderful job of participating. It was a long two minutes, wasn't it? It seems like a long time, but uh, I know that everyone out there appreciates your participation, your reading of the poem. So before you head down to children's worship, let's give a blessing to the adults, all right? Let's stand up, turn around, and find someone out there, maybe you know them, maybe you don't, take your eyeballs and point them at their eyeballs and say, may God bless you as you stay to hear God's word. And they'll say, may God bless you as you go to hear God's word. Okay, let's follow your leaders downstairs. You didn't. You know a lot of things, Maddox.